Like so many other symptoms of aging, brain shrinkage is simply an inevitable consequence of growing older. Even if you seem perfectly healthy, you may be losing nearly half a percent of your brain mass every year. Normal aging causes the brain to shrink by an average of 1.9% every 10 years, beginning in young adulthood and becoming more prominent in your 60s. This is due to the result of the number of brain cells naturally declining with age. This is natural, of course, but aging is not the only reason for our brains to shrink. Sleep disruptions and anxiety also contribute to loss of brain volume. Healthy older adults with short sleep durations have significantly smaller brains than those with longer sleep durations. In addition to physical shrinkage, for every hour of reduced sleep duration, you have a 0.67% decrease in cognitive performance. A deficiency in vitamin B12 can result in significant atrophy of the brain. One study showed that healthy volunteers with lower but normal levels of vitamin B12 had more brain volume loss than healthy volunteers with higher levels. This type of atrophy is preventable and often reversible if steps to improve B12 levels are implemented. Depression is associated with shrinkage in the hippocampus, a region of the brain responsible for learning and memory. One study showed that depressed people have less brain tissue in their brain's memory centers. The study revealed that the effects become more severe the longer an individual suffers from depression, as well as in people who received a diagnosis at an early age. Several medical conditions can cause the brain to atrophy, including Alzheimer's disease, a stroke, cerebral palsy, Huntington's disease, and some infections such as HIV and encephalitis. Brain atrophy associated with these diseases or injuries occurs much more quickly and is far more damaging. Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia are conditions in which brain cells become progressively damaged and lose the ability to communicate with one another. Areas of the brain that help form new memories and that help us think, plan, and remember are especially affected by the Alzheimer's disease. However, the rest of the brain shrinks as well. Studies show that diabetes also plays a role in brain atrophy. In one study, researchers used MRI scans to check the brains of 614 people who had diabetes for an average of 10 years. The study showed that the longer a person has diabetes, the more brain volume loss occurred. The part most prone to shrinkage is the gray matter that is required for muscle control, vision and hearing, speaking, memory ability, and emotions. While some causes of brain atrophy are outside of our control, others may be impacted by our life choices. Lack of exercise also affects your brain very severely. Physical inactivity slows down the blood flow to eight regions of your brain, and one of those regions is the hippocampus. Within 10 years of this, you'll likely notice a reduction in the volume of your brain without any increase in the density of your neurons. This shrinkage eventually will lead to mental decline. A lack of exercise also increases your risk of neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. So, if your long-term physical health weren't enough reason to stay active and healthy, remember that the exercise you are dreading also plays a vital role in the long-term health of your brain.